Okay, we're back again. I've listed it on channel 6 and I've plugged in the service monitor and at the moment we have about, if you can see this okay, about 0.5 microvolt, about 30% modulation and um, the receiver here is that okay. We'll adjust a bit more. That's about one. Which gives you about S3 there. That's about 0.75. So what we'll do, we'll switch it off make sure the controls are set to maximum adjust to power get the tiny little microphone which you'll have a quick look at similar to the um, 5000 now we'll just this is an AM carrier So what are we getting there? About Arlo, oh, Arlo. Oh, oh. They're getting about um, nine, maybe ten watts. Arlo, oh, oh, with a bit of modulation, uh, not much swing, but don't care about that. We'll actually see. Just watch the power supply and what's the current drain we've got. So that's about five amps, very approximately and the meter goes basically hard over again on the test set about 10 watts or so we'll just check the frequency error so that's what I, the center frequency I've got set if you look here it's set on 1k so 1 kilohertz error would be if it was minus be to the left and positive be to the right and it's pretty close. In fact, we'll just make an adjustment. Uh, excuse me. Go to 300k. 300 hertz, I should say. Okay. Hardly any error at all. Make sure that everything's set okay. Yep. Uh, also, the radio, uh, the test set has a, it's got a calibration on it, so it's not just a, a boat anchor. Um, now this is going to be difficult but let's just see how this variable power works which I noticed to be um, not that variable okay that's the RF gain control sorry about that okay now this control doesn't seem to be very linear that's about halfway and slowly going down going down going down going down so that most of the power control all happens right near the end of the scale it's, it's hard to film both at the same time but I'll, like this I'll show you just move the camera there so the RF power control it's hard to see, it's just set there and that's basically obviously minimum now we'll adjust it so that's about um, 9 o'clock and that's nearly flat out already key to radio so not very linear control uh, we'll just try SSB, I'll put it to maximum alright change the mode, FM is very similar, excuse my hand getting in the way Turn that volume a bit. Um, if you have a look at them, units actually on the 15 watt scale. Hala, 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 one, two. So it's pushing the meter across there. Okay, bear with me again. Hala, hala. So getting a peak about 30 watts or so, which is not too bad. Let's just check what the power supply does, it's always worthwhile 
so that seems to be peaking up to about maybe 8 to 10 amps uh, on the scale so I think that's not too bad that's that's I've had it out of the box a little while just to test it out and to listen to it and to program it but uh, it's never had the covers off and there's obviously no need to not that I would anyway so there you have it 8900 on the service monitor the old IFR 500 and that seems to test out okay I thought it was quite good I just selected uh, channel 6 uh, because that's what it was on not for any other reason so I'm quite pleased with that again thank you very much for watching uh, my video cheers